Hey guys, Tyler here from Silencer Shop to do a tabletop overview video of the CGS Hyperion and Hyperion K. These are CGS's direct thread 30 caliber silencers though. They come in the big boy, the Hyperion, at nine and a half inches long, and the shorter boy, not quite a K, at six and a half, 6.3 inch um, Hyperion K model. The first thing to notice is the box that the silencer comes in. It comes in this very fancy SKB plastic case. The solid front cap comes installed on the silencer. Any additional end caps for the Hyperion or Hyperion K are an additional purchase. And it does not ship with a thread adapter. Inside the box is quite literally just the silencer, the solid front cap installed, and the case itself. Now, I mentioned that these are direct thread silencers. They come included with a 25 degree SIG taper inside the back of the direct thread mount. So unless you have a barrel that's 0.735 inches in diameter or greater, you'll actually need to run a muzzle device with this that creates a 25 degree taper on the end of your barrel. So if you've got a big thick bull barrel on the end of your rifle, this will go up on there and the 90 degree shoulder on the back of the silencer will hit that barrel. But if you've got a barrel with a diameter less than that 0.735, you'll actually get the shoulder of the barrel inside this tapered system, which will either be really bad for the radius on the outside of your barrel uh, or for the interior of the silencer, whichever metal happens to be stronger. If you don't have a barrel with enough meat on the bone, CGS makes the Hyperion thread adapter that will turn any barrel of any profile with 5 8 by 24 threads or half by 28 threads on the end of it into that 25 degree taper and 5 8 by 24 threads. So you can put this silencer on any rifle with a barrel less than that outer diameter but you will need to add an adapter that will add, give or take, three quarters of an inch overall length to your system. Both of the Hyperions are DMLS 3D printed out of a grade five titanium. Uh, the reason I bring that up is there's some interesting research being done on DMLS. The tensile strength of the metal that that creates can in some instances actually be stronger than just bar stock alloy steel, or in this case, titanium. The 3D printing allows them to put metal where they want it and not have to remove metal out of the nooks and crannies. They only put metal where they want it, which is why you get away with a nine and a half inch, full size, one and three quarter inch diameter silencer that comes in well under a pound at 15.1 ounces. 3D printed construction throughout allows them to take in the blast chamber, that gas that comes out of your muzzle blast, um, is diverted and sent the outside of the tube and reintroduced into the stack later on down the road. It ships with a solid front cap on the front of it. You can get, however, a vented front cap. There are some vents inside this that again allow this system to bleed off gas. So it comes as a quiet as can be silencer with a tapered front cap on the front of it, but you can bust that front cap off, run a vented front cap and turn this silencer into a low blowback, if you will, low back pressure silencer if that's something you're worried about. What I tell most people is if you're getting the full size in particular or even the K, um, put this on your rifle first and see if you have gas problems. Typically, if you have gas problems, we're talking about 5.56, so that 30 caliber bore aperture is going to be venting a lot of that gas for you. You probably don't need to spend extra money on an accessory, but if you do, I know a guy that sells them. Both of the Hyperions, as well as a couple of the other CGS silencers, boast a boron nitride or S-line PVD coating on the inside of this metal, inside the baffles, that actually reduce the amount of buildup you get into a silencer. For those of you that have been around silencer shop for a while, you're already familiar with the old internet adage, myth, whatever you want to call it, that rifle silencers are self-cleaning or never need to be cleaned. That's not true. Um, however, for most people, they probably will never get to that point in the life of the silencer. They don't actually shoot that many rounds. For those of you that are concerned about long-term durability and having to send a silencer back to get it serviced or cleaned or maintained, the actual interior of this silencer is impressive at not getting carbon, lead, copper, any kind of fouling or buildup inside of it. Both the full size and shorter K Hyperion are rated down to 10 inch 556 and no barrel length restrictions on 300 blackout. Both of these are fantastic 300 blackout silencers. They are a ton of fun. The full size Hyperion is a stupid quiet silencer. The K is a good silencer and it is quiet. The differences between them is if you're chasing the overall end all be all sound performance silencer, it's going to be tough to beat a silencer the size of the Hyperion. There's just so much room inside that silencer for it to do what it does best. Um, but the K version is what I lovingly call my Goldilocks silencer. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's not too quiet, it's not too loud, it's just quiet enough and you don't have to lug around a long silencer on the end of your barrel. I typically say that and I also have to say big old long heavy silencer on the end of your barrel. 
The Hyperion full size, as we've already covered, is a very light silencer for its size class. The K is also very light for a six and a half inch silencer, but that's kind of my difference between the two. The full size Hyperion comes in at nine and a half inches long and 15.1 ounces in weight. The K comes in at 6.3 inches long and 10.2 ounces. Both of these are a one and three quarter inch outer diameter at the widest point. All right, guys, with any questions or concerns, jump down to the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the stuff going on at Silencer Shop. Thanks for watching. Bye.